<笑>いやこっちとしては助かるからとってもありがたいけどね店長あのそんなににらまないでくれよえあ別ににらんでませんけどあそそう<笑>んあああ,あれそれ Hey everyone, in this video I present to you top 10 romance anime where girl falls for older guy. As usual, I try to include some anime that are not well known, so you may find an anime you haven't seen yet. If you are new here please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you can be updated when I upload future videos. With all that being said let's get right into the video. Let's start off this list with Nobunaga Teacher's Young Bride. Our MC Nobunaga has always been dreaming of a gal game like situation, where a girl who loves him will suddenly appear before him. However, the one who appeared before him was Kicho, a 14 year old girl who proclaims herself as his wife. Appears to have arrived from the Sengoku era, she mistakes Nobunaga as Nobunaga Oda and urges him to conceive a child with her. Sometimes you come into a show thinking it's going to be trash, and while being correct in your assumption, this anime is a type of trash you can't stop watching because of how funny it is. Overall, it really is not a bad anime, and if you have been looking for a nice and fun ecchi comedy, then this might just be the show for you. Number 9. Sing Yesterday for Me. Our MC Rikyuo Uazumi has all but resigned himself to a bleak future, aimlessly working at a convenience store in Tokyo after graduating from college. His monotonous life is interrupted when the peculiar Haru Nanaka makes a lively appearance, frequently dropping by his workplace to befriend him. When Rikyuo learns that an old college friend and crush, Shinako Morinama, has moved back into town, he reaches out to further their relationship. Unbeknownst to Rikyuo, however, Shinako is carrying painful memories from her past that were holding her back from accepting his feelings. Meanwhile, as Haru continually opens up to Rikyuo, he discovers that she, much like him, is living by herself and wants to step out of her comfort zone into an uncertain future. This show has its flaws and is definitely not the best anime that I've personally seen, but this anime depicts such raw human emotions that any adult that enjoys anime would watch for sure. In a nutshell, this anime is a remarkably descriptive depiction of earnest adolescent Japanese people as they pass through the most significant beginning degree of their experiences. Number 8. Koyakimo. People fall in love in the most mysterious of ways. This statement seems to be especially true for the affluent genius Playboy MC, Ryo Amakusa. When he nearly falls off the stairs one rainy morning, a girl named Ichika Arima saves him. As if by fate, Ryo encounters Ichika again later that night, she happens to be the best friend of his little sister. Wanting to thank her, Ryo attempts to woo Ichika by employing his usual flirtatious tactics, only to be immediately shot down, his target creeped out by his behavior. Rather than being discouraged, Ryo instead becomes more enthralled by her, and he begins to do everything he can to steal Ichika's heart despite receiving disgusted reactions each time. I really like this show as a whole. Although the premise might be cringe at first, it will get better and better as you watch more of it. I recommend this show to all of you who are looking for a fun yet heartwarming anime at the same time. Number 7. Wreck. After being stood up for a movie date, our MC Fumihiko Matsumaru is about to throw away his tickets when he is stopped by a girl who implores him to let her accompany him instead. Thanks to his upbeat and eccentric companion Aka Onda, an aspiring voice actress, Fumihiko enjoys his evening. While walking home together, they find out that they live in the same neighborhood. Mere hours later, Fumihiko wakes up from a nightmare and hears sirens outside his window. Going outside to check the situation, he sees that Aka's apartment has burned down, along with all her possessions. Fumihiko invites the distressed Aka to stay at his place, leading to them sleeping together. This anime is quite enjoyable to watch. The story was great, also, I liked how they showed what the both of them went through in their work lives and how that played a part in their romance and vice versa. I would recommend this to anyone who is a fan of romance and who doesn't mind it being short and sweet. Number 6. Higit wa Saru. Sushita Joshiko Sei wa Hiro. When our MC Yoshida wakes up one Sunday morning after a long night at the bar, the last thing he expects to see is that his tiny apartment has a new resident, an unfamiliar high school girl. 
The previous night, despite finally gathering the courage to confess to his boss and longtime crush, Iri Goto, Yoshida was rejected. After drowning his sorrows at a bar with his good friend Hashimoto, Yoshida headed back to his home in a drunken stupor, only to run into Sei Wagawara, a runaway high schooler. She asked him to let her stay the night, and with his judgment clouded by alcohol, Yoshida complied. Now, with his head on straight, but with no memory of last night's events, Yoshida has Seiyu explain just how she ended up sleeping at his apartment. Having listened to her story, Yoshida finds himself unable to kick her out, especially after learning that she came all the way from Hokkaido. So, despite his reservations about sheltering an underage girl, Yoshida allows her to stay, and their life together begins. Earlier episodes in the series do give off a more sleazy vibe, as we're still getting to know the characters and their motivations, but if you can get past that, you will enjoy a nice rom-com with great character development, along with a mature story, so it's definitely worth your time. Number 5. Inuex Boku Secret Service. Our MC Ririchi Yoshirakian is the sheltered daughter of a renowned family. With her petite build and wealthy status, Ririchiyo has been a protected and dependent girl her entire life, but now she has decided to change all that. However, there is just one problem, the young girl has a sharp tongue she can't control and terrible communication skills. With some help from a childhood friend, Ririchiyo takes up residence in Maison de Ayakashi, a secluded high-security apartment complex that, as the unsociable 15-year-old soon discovers, is home to a host of bizarre individuals. Furthermore, their quirky personalities are not the strangest things about them, each inhabitant of the Maison de Ayakashi, including Ririchiyo, is actually half-human, half-yokai. But Ririchiyo's troubles have only just begun. As a requirement of staying in her new home, she must be accompanied by a secret service agent. Ririchiyo's new partner, Soshi Miketsukami, is handsome, quiet, but ridiculously clingy and creepily submissive. Overall this show was quite enjoyable. It's your typical comedy romance anime, where it's filled with loads of comedy, and then right at the end it hits you with romance. I personally quite liked the plot of the story, but there wasn't really much development of the main story. If you want to watch an anime that'll make you laugh your head off, then this show is definitely something for you. Number 4. After the Rain. Our MC Akira Tachibana, a reserved high school student and former track runner, has not been able to race the same as she used to since she experienced a severe foot injury. And although she is regarded as attractive by her classmates, she is not interested in the boys around school. While working part-time at the garden cafe, Akira begins to develop feelings for the manager a 45-year-old man named Masami Kondo despite the large age gap. Kondo shows genuine concern and kindness toward the customers of his restaurant, which, while viewed by others as soft or weak, draws Akira to him. Spending time together at the restaurant, they grow closer, which only strengthens her feelings. If you're looking for a mature romance story that highlights the true complexities of people, relationships and being in love, then this anime is for you. It's visually stunning, chock full of beautifully deep imagery and metaphors, hits you right in the feels, and does wonders towards a realistic depiction of the forbidden love. Number 3. Kamasama Kiss. Our MC Nanami Mamazono has quite a few problems of late, beginning with her absentee father being in such extreme debt that they lose everything. Downtrodden and homeless, she runs into a man being harassed by a dog. After helping him, she explains her situation, and to her surprise, he offers her his home in gratitude. But when she discovers that said home is a rundown shrine, she tries to leave, however, she is caught by two shrine spirits and a fox familiar named Tomohe. They mistake her for the man Nanami rescued the land god of the shrine, Mikage. Realizing that Mikage must have sent her there as a replacement god, Tomohe leaves abruptly, refusing to serve a human. Rather than going back to being homeless, Nanami immerses herself in her divine duties. But if she must keep things running smoothly, she will need the help of a certain hot-headed fox. In her fumbling attempt to seek out Tomohe, she lands in trouble and ends up sealing a contract with him. I was a bit apprehensive about watching this anime to begin with. I thought it would be very cliché and boring, but I was pleasantly surprised and completely wrong. Overall, I cannot say that Kamasama Kiss is an absolute masterpiece. However, as a romance it did manage to keep me interested. If you are a big sucker for a good romance anime, then you should definitely give this show a try, it will not disappoint you. Number 2. Nadama Cantabile. Shinichi Chiaki is a first-class musician whose dream is to play among the elites in Europe. 
Coming from a distinguished family, he is an infamous perfectionist, not only is he highly critical of himself, but of others as well. The only thing stopping Shinichi from leaving for Europe is his fear of flying. As a result, he's grounded in Japan. During his fourth year at Japan's top music university, Shinichi happens to meet Megumi Noda, or, as she refers to herself, Nadame. On the surface, she seems to be an unkempt girl with no direction in life. However, when Shinichi hears Nadama play the piano for the first time, he is in awe of the kind of music she creates. Nevertheless, Shinichi is dismayed to discover that Nadama is his neighbor, and worse, she ends up falling head over heels in love with him. Nadama Cantabile is a sensational, all-around compelling watch, not only for its masterful depictions of love, life and the beauty of music, but also for its comedic aspects. It's at times a light-hearted series, full of laughs and humor with precise comedic timing and intelligent punchlines. The hilarity never overstays its welcome, however, as the drama often takes the reins with full force. If you want to watch a romance anime with a more mature theme, then I suggest that you give this show a try. Number 1. Welcome to the NHK. Our MC Tatsuhiro Sato has been at Hikikomori for almost four years now. In his isolation, he has come to believe in many obscure conspiracy theories, but there is one in particular which he holds unshakable faith in, the theory that the evil conspirator behind his shut-in neat, not in employment, education or training, status is the Nihon Hikikomori Kyokai, NHK, an evil and secret organization dedicated to fostering the spread of Hikikomori culture. This is a psychological drama comedy that follows Tatsuhiro as he strives to escape from the NHK's wicked machinations and the disease of self-wrought isolation, while struggling to even just leave his apartment and find a job. His unexpected encounter with the mysterious Misaki Nakahara might signal a reversal of fortune for Tatsuhiro, but with this meeting comes the inevitable cost of having to face his greatest fear, society. Welcome to the NHK is a well-written and well-told story about a serious subject matter. It has a good pace and just enough of both humor and sadness. I enjoyed the series very much, and if it is a type of anime you normally enjoy, I am sure you will love this show as well. That's it for this list thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful please like and subscribe, if you haven't as yet, it will really help the channel to grow. With all that being said, see you next time.